Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. We're going to read Luke 6, 27 through 36. I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To the one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, so do to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. So, here sort of Jesus goes against the culture and goes against our culture. You know, love your enemies. Nobody loves their enemies. Everybody hates their enemies. You know, do good to those who hate you. What? Can't do that. You know, can't treat people nicely if they don't treat me nicely. See, that puts the me in the center of the equation, and that's not supposed to be that way. The one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other. Now, the Romans had a particular way of whacking you across the face, and if you offered the other cheek, they couldn't do it. They had to go backhanded, and so that kind of was a way to kind of get back at the Romans without doing anything wrong. Uh, if they took your coat, if they take your cloak, give them your tunic. Well, there were particular rules in Judaism. If somebody needed a coat, you give them your coat. They had to give it back at the end of the day because you slept in it. You know, it was your blanket and you needed it. So they could only keep it till sundown. And if you gave them two items, you know, you gave them your, your tunic, your, basically your shirt, your sweatshirt, then you put them in debt to you and they had to give it back. And so it, it was kind of an awkward thing, see? And, um, and so it's sort of a way to get back at, at, at the Romans. Um, and he says, love other people, do good to people, lend to people, and don't expect to get the same thing back because that'll just, you're just like the sinners, but do all of that expecting nothing in return and God will reward you. Uh, so, so it's very countercultural message. It's very, uh, runs against the grain of the way that we usually do business and runs against the grain of the way that we we think we should do business. Um, we get on these uh, um, these notions that we need to, um, you know, um, we need to restrict our borders, keep all those bad people from coming in. Well, okay, we need to do something at the border. But are the people coming in bad people by definition because they're trying to come into this country? I don't think so. I think they're people looking for, you know, security and food. Um, but they get painted in all kinds of awful ways. So everybody hates them. Well, you know, they're just people. Um, so we get into all these things like that where we think we know all about people and we think this is how it is and this is what you have to do. And a lot of times those things are not necessarily the case. We don't have to be mean and ugly and bad to people. We could just be nice to people. And I think ultimately that's where Jesus is going. Love people, all people, any people, even the poor people. If we could all do that, this would be a better world. So think about that today. I hope that you have a great day. We will see you tomorrow.